will be following yeah. this, of course. And if the left is looking for someone to blame for the election results being so widely questioned, they should look in the mirror. Because before the election even started, media breathlessly framing all of Trump's comments and actions like this. We're seeing the undermining of our democracy and our elections. Undermining public confidence in the election and doing a lot of damage to the integrity of the democratic process. The president has sought to undermine the integrity of the election process for months. Of course, these charlatans spent the last four years perpetuating one of the most damaging lies in our country's history. I think the interference is fully investigated would show that Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. We will never know whether the Russian intervention was determinative in such a close election. We worked last year. We won the election. It was stolen. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president. Join me now, Molly Hemingway, senior editor at the Federalist Fox News contributor. Molly, take it away. You you hit this in your piece today about how the Democrats are just reaping what they've planted. It's just amazing. You see that you've had a few short weeks of people litigating election results in a court of law. And a lot of powerful people in the media and elsewhere have said that this undermines the country to, to in any way question this very close election in which you had this major uptick in mail-in ballots, which everybody knows are more susceptible to fraud, at the same time that you decreased scrutiny of those ballots. So something totally reasonable, which is that people are questioning the legitimacy of this brand new thing that we all rushed into this year. And what is just shocking for people hearing these comments is we just lived through four years of many prominent people spending much of every day questioning whether Donald Trump or asserting that Donald Trump was not a legitimate president. And this began immediately after his surprise election in November of 2016, and it continued for years in a really dramatic fashion. These were high profile people. You, you just pictured some of them, but these were people in, throughout the media, throughout the political establishment who believed in a Russia collusion hoax that they, or they claimed to believe, and they perpetrated that on the American people, saying that Donald Trump was not the legitimate president, but that he had stolen the election by colluding with Russia to, to, to become president. This was a widely held conspiracy theory. People with no evidence. with surprises for perpetrating this. And it yeah. never had any evidence at all in support now, of it. Yeah, Molly, and people and either pushed it, or they kind of sat quietly by while other people pushed it. Right. And now and the same people are saying, you're yeah. not allowed to have any questions about an election that has all sorts of suspicion about it. And, and Molly, sorry to talk over you, but there's so, there's so much here. And the fact that we have all these American citizens who, who've signed sworn affidavits saying, this is what I saw. And obviously it's not at all copacetic, and, and some of it's not legal. And they're they're doxxed or they're or they're intimidated or they're called racist or called stupid or or dismissed and laughed at by the American media. That's what that's how they think you're going to unite was, the country. There was no rumor or innuendo or piece of unfounded gossip that was too ridiculous for many people throughout the media to pursue and amplify and really raise to the level that we even appointed a special counsel to spend years trying to find evidence of this thing that didn't happen. And yet you have sworn affidavits from people, from American citizens, and the media show zero interest in investigating this. First of all, they're putting the entire burden of proof on the Trump legal team, rather than thinking that maybe as journalists, they can themselves look into this, like we have at the Federalist yeah. and found evidence of wrongdoing in various states. Um, but the, the disparity between how they handled that delusional Russia collusion hoax uh, versus how they're handling this could not be greater. And of course, they try to pretend yeah. like they didn't fall for this or perpetrate this Russia collusion hoax. It damaged the country. It really damaged the country. And they should be held accountable for what they did. I, I mean, remember all their tedious bumper stickers, hashtag not my president? That was going... <laughs> I mean, they're still trying to, you know, peel those off. Or no, they'll leave, they'll leave those on for the next, you know, five years until they um, donate their cars, I'm sure, to charity. Molly, thank you so much. Great to see you tonight. And why did a California judge just rule that strip clubs are allowed to stay open but not churches? Pastor John MacArthur has been battling the state this entire pandemic. He's an American hero. He's here next to respond.